So fifth grade, we've had a great morning so far of poetry. Thank you for being here for poem in your talk today. We're going to each have a chance to come up if you would like to share a poem. We're going to be great listeners uh, for you. And each time someone shares a poem, remember it's a big deal. And we celebrate those poems with snaps or quiet claps. We are recording so that your families can watch later if they would like. Um, and just make sure that you adjust the microphone as you go if it needs to go up or down. And yes, you noticed all the different decorations that are here. I decided that poetry can be celebrated year round. So there's a little bit of something from the entire year. So there's pumpkins and beach towels and flowers and snowflakes. And, yeah. <laughs> there's all kinds of things. All right. So I'm going to get us started off with a poem that comes from this book called Pocket Poems. And this one is called Keep a Poem in Your Pocket. Keep a poem in your pocket and a picture in your head, and you'll never feel lonely at night when you're in bed. The little poem will sing to you, the little picture bring to you a dozen dreams to dance to you at night when you're in bed. So keep a picture in your pocket and a poem in your head, and you'll never feel lonely at night when you're in bed. The border of the or do what I Okay. Right to bananas by um, bananas, great case. I always search out of country and to find the great banana food. I eat so much of them for so food. Yes, they taste so amazing. If I can't find them, I will be crazy. They are tasty. Good, 
Last but not least, I feel just a hands of heavy knees and the good feeling of it when I play fetch. And when I play fetch in the soft grass between my paws. Heart as red as the rose and the color of blood with the sweetness of a red. Of a heart and the red heart is as red as blood in the rose. Chakras. <laughs> if those chakras or toes are those chakras ready yet? These chakras are ready. It was like a food. And then we have food. A soft little tree with powdered sugar stone here. We need one right now. What do we do? I have two. I have one from Shel Silver's King and one from my Indian. Snowball by Shel Silverstein. I made myself a snowball as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a test and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first it left the oh. Oh. This is a poem by my Angelou, written in 1978, and it's called The Woman's Portrait. I've got the children to tend, the clothes to mend, the poor to mop, the food to shop, then the chicken to fry, the baby to dry. I got company to feed, the garden to weed. I got shirts to press, the pots to dress, the cans to cut. I got to clean up this hut, then see about the sick and the cotton to pick. Shine on me, sunshine, rain on me, rain. Fall softly, dew drops, and cool my brow again. Storm, blow me from here with your fiercest wind. Let me float across the sky so I can rest again. Fall, fall gently snowflake, cover me with white. Cold icy kisses and let me rest tonight. Sun, rain, curving sky, mountain, ocean, wheat and stone, starshine, moon glow. You're all that I can call. <laughs> 